Hi guys, sometimes when we talk about the achievements of the Good Friday Agreement, we gloss over the EU's role in maintaining peace on the island of Ireland. The main protagonists, of course, are the parties there and the British and Irish governments, along with the support provided by the US President and his administration. Here Charles Michel, the President of the European Council, explains how the foundations of the Good Friday Agreement echo those of the European Union in its early days, but remain its core belief today that of embracing diversity, but also the idea that as European citizens, we can feel part of more than one nation. Have a listen. 25 years ago, the Good Friday Agreement was signed, a remarkable achievement that took real political leadership, visionary leaders that did not fear compromise, and it broke the cycle of decades of violence and ushered in peace, stability, and reconciliation. The EU was crucial to reach the Good Friday Agreement and has been essential to ensure its survival throughout all these years. In fact, the Good Friday Agreement also echoes back another major moment in history 41 years earlier the Treaty of Rome, the founding treaty of our European Union. Peace in Ireland and European integration are staked in the same ideal, exploiting the richness of diversity rather than sowing division. The Good Friday Agreement is also an important reminder that we are all capable of feeling strong emotion and connection to more than one nation. This is not something to fear. Multiple identities are part of human nature. The peace wall in Alessandra Park still stands today. What was once a symbol of fear and separation is now, today, a sign of peace, progress, and common future. Well said. The, I like the idea that Northern Ireland the peace process in Northern Ireland, the Good Friday Agreement, was built upon the ashes of a war, similar to the European Union is built upon the ashes of war. And an embracing of diversity, different opinions brought together, as you can see here in the European Parliament. This idea that, you know, we, we are from different nations, but we are all Europeans. And this, I think, needs to be the belief in in Northern Ireland as well. You know, people have different opinions, people have different points of view, different religions, but they can come together and try and create something for the future. And in, a, in another video I uploaded, it was, you know, John Hume, one of the architects of this agreement, talked about how it's so important that politicians focus on what's important to people, not just focus on tribalism and flags, but to focus on what is the bread and butter issues, getting a job for young people, buying a house, paying the bills, cost of living. These are the issues that are facing young people today and the next generation. And it, there's an onus on politicians to focus on that. Unfortunately, at the moment, the Northern Ireland Assembly is not up and running. The, the executive is not up and running because of the DUP who were sadly against the, pro against the Good Friday Agreement back in 1998. But hopefully they can be brought into the fold. They can put their petty differences aside and join the executive. Because that's what the people of Northern Ireland want. They want a functioning government. They want it to be focusing on the needs of the people of Northern Ireland. Just like the majority of people in Europe want the European Parliament focusing on the issues that affect Europeans. But I really like what he said here about how Europeans can feel, you know, Italian, French, German, Belgian, whatever, but they can also feel European. And I think there's a growing feeling there. And hopefully in the future, Britain will join and feel European too. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.